Ichibe mba chitila mfwaeshi Mfwaeshi lu ala luba So it is so <coughs> funny That you find people that want to call a lunatic But every time we go live they come But I want to tell you that we know that there are a lot of sponsored uh, chaps Who are bought talk time by the UPND To try and discredit me but I don't mind For me what is important is the Zambian people and what affects the Zambian people. Whatever comes that affects the Zambian people is what I am worried about, concerned about, and I have to make amends. Countrymen and women, during the 2021 general elections, I did warn the people of Zambia. Nicho fiabantu bam Zambia tabomfwa. I warned the people of Zambia to say that Hakainde Ichilema cannot run a country. I want to repeat. Hakainde Ichilema cannot run a country. And if you are still under that illusion that there will be anything that will change under the leadership of President Hakainde Ichilema, you'll be in for a rude shock. Basatabari wonfe shepwe chwe mba chimo Na ndaka icho wonse walanda po But tabai shiva uu pidibulo wachile chwe mba Icho basatabari wonfe I am saying Mr. Sata used one bemba ideon And some people laugh about it But they don't know the actual meaning of that ideon And this ideon is umule mbe wachipuba Upuila muli tumfwe ko Countrymen and women, the meaning of this ideon, umulembo watch puba upila muli tumfweko, is that people will come to you and keep on telling you things will be okay, things will be okay, and you keep on supporting them, when in actual fact there will be nothing that will change. That is the meaning of that bembad ideon, umulembo watch puba. Upuila muli tumfweko. Simply meaning, one who is ever telling you things will be all right, things will be all right. It's like, you know, somebody has uh, prepared okra, and then somebody comes, ah, tumfweko, wao nafi wama, mwai bali yamu. Na umbi nafi wama, at the end of it where you find there is no okra for the person who prepared it to have uh, a meal or uh, to have uh, nishima with. This is exactly what is happening. And I want to say, Ichiwe mba chitila na likuwewele tabula po. Uwa kuwewe mfwaya kwa noko mutanj. Look. Ababa president wa HH. Inedo na ileba parama. One thing I learned about him. Is a one way traffic person. Is a person who doesn't listen from advice. I remember in several meetings that we had, when you say something that is not happy with, one, he will hate you for life, and the two, he will disrespect you through his talk in a manner that you would feel next time not to contribute. This is a man who doesn't give chance to anybody to say anything that he does not think is correct. And I am convinced beyond reasonable doubts that the ministers serving in this government today don't have a say. They are morally banned because the man thinks he can micromanage the country, he can micromanage things just the way he thinks is right. And in leadership, in leadership, immediately umun to takwetu okun fakuba he doesn't want to listen from others, he doesn't want to accommodate others' views. That man or woman is a failed leader. Because leadership is a collective uh, uh, effort. It is never an effort by an individual. Because countrymen and women, this country is large. This country is big. And the issues in the country are complex.
that you need divergence views to sort out the issues in running the country. But when you have a leader who thinks he's the most intelligent person and looks down upon everybody as not knowing anything, then you have a problem. And the problem that I want to advise you by UPND is that if you continue on this trajectory where you think Hagainde Ichilema knows it all and you leave him like that, First and foremost, you will not go anywhere at the party. Secondly, this country will be damaged beyond recognition. Look, it is becoming embarrassing every day that the things that this man condemned are exactly the same things that he has been doing since he came into office. For instance, that letter that came from the Registrar of Society yesterday to say that they've given PF seven days to submit the list of office bearers and uh, uh, fingerprints failure to which they will be uh, deregistered. Let us avoid this kind of embarrassment. Embarrassment. You can't do that in a democratic state. Look, some of you may celebrate that, yes, PF should be deregistered because you are UPND. But I can tell you that if we allow certain illegalities to, to be perpetuated by those in government, this country will forever be bleeding because those things will now be taken as normal. I thought the UPND learned something from what happened in 2012 when the then uh, 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 Registrar of Society, who is now Member of Parliament for Katombola, Handalek, threatened to deregister the MMD under President Michael Sata. And I can tell you, I was in President Michael Sata's government. Even Andalek can tell you that he was coded by Satavali Mukaripile Sana. Kumu Itano Mukaripila to stop this and don't go that direction. But today, the same thing has resurfaced. That thing left a very big dent, negative dent on the democratic uh, 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 scores of Zambia. And you saw that the international community complained bitterly about Andeleke's action. How then can President Againde Ichilema allow the same thing to be done today against the PF? I have said, and I want to say it again, what was a mistake in PF can never be a right in the UPND. And as long as we continue saying, oh, so it is right for the UPND to do it, we are shooting ourselves in the foot. If And I think we must stop this trajectory. We are becoming a laughing stock. How can a foreign, an ambassador, accredited to Zambia. I was Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Vienna Convention is very clear on the behavior of ambassadors and high commissioners accredited to a particular country. How can the American ambassador say they appreciate the firing of a police chief and happy with a replacement? That is an interference in the internal affairs of the country. It clearly shows that the Americans are the ones who instigated the removal of uh, Kajoba. Although Kajoba had one, one, one mistakes, doing wrong things, for which I warned him, but I don't think we should allow foreigners, America or indeed the West or China or any other country, to be telling us what to do. 
I have never, never, never heard of any diplomat who has commented on either the dismissal or the transferring of a civil servant, be it a police officer or indeed permanent secretary. It shows you that we have a puppet government, a government that thinks to be close, more close to America is the way to go and to succeed in running this country. Please stop misleading yourselves by UPND. I'm only giving you advice, and advice is there for you to take. Hold. These things, we've seen them before. People celebrating that we won Mangango as PF when we were in power. Mangango had been a stronghold of the UPND. We won it. And people are celebrating and now we, we are going to take Western province. Alas, when the general elections came, <laughs> the answer was something else. Please, let's do the right thing. This thing of deregistering uh, 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 PF is the most <coughs> unreasonable things that one can do in a democracy like Zambia. PF has got 58 MPs, over 500 councillors, over 60 council chairpersons. Why is that a registrar that I would register this party? And you think that is a small issue, eh? You think that is a small issue? But President Mohamba no plan, hey, let them register. You are being unfair to yourself. You are only showing that we have an insecure government. Only a government that is insecure, only a president who is insecure, only a leader who is insecure ends up doing illegal things or wrong things to perpetuate their stay in power. But I want to tell you, political power is very limited and very short-lived. No matter what you are going to do, remember that the MMD at one time was very powerful. The PF was very powerful. UNIP was very powerful. But all these were voted out by the people because it is the people and only the people who hold the key to who becomes their leader. So for UPND to say we shall rule until 2020, 2090, Abantu bale chula, umutengo wa bunga wa linina, umutengo wa mafuta wa linina, ama light ya linina, abantu bale lale nsala, imumu lebati, we shall rule until 2090. Kwa ni wani nenu wakala vota? Because nani wano kwa wakala vota, you are sure that my mother will vote for me. Please stop this thing and respect the people. This thing you have said you are going to buy 250,000 metric tons of maize. My brother, Mukalarika Bantu Insala, Mukepaya Bantu Insala next year. That's why I say, you see, leave politics to politicians. And if you are in business, go and do business. You see, God has given us different talents. Some of us are born politicians. And some of you, like HH, are born good businessmen. And we can't fault you in running business. But my brother, you cannot run a country on business principles. You are looking at the cost of buying 500 metric tons or indeed 1 million metric tons of maize. My brother, this is the beginning of the end for you. That I can tell you. There is no way FRA can buy 250,000 metric tons and expect that there will be no anger in Zambia next year. Just look at how much maize you've released to the millers. Just look at the amount of maize you've released. It's over 250,000 metric tons. Now you just want to buy 250 plus you've remained with an, another, about 168 thousand uh, 168 metric tons my brother please stop looking 
paying attention too much at the expenditure but pay attention at the living standards of the people because government is to raise money and spend it on providing a service to the people stop following the american way where you just want microeconomic parameters to be in tandem with the international standards while the poor people suffer Learn to elect people who are full of nothing but semantics. Buy Safenama big words and you think they are doing you a favor. Icharwechi ukuchiraninga first and foremost kulolesha pabuchush wabalanda. E decision to alapanga. How will it affect the poor people? That's a good leader. But if you are saying, how is the IMF going to look at us? We should do, to get the IMF bailout. The IMF bailout you are getting, is it going to put food and uh, 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 bread and butter on the table of the Zambian people? Please, uh, UPND. You cannot buy 250,000 metric tons as FRA, because if the maze will be in the hands of the private sector, you will have no control to one control the price of millimeter. And also, you cannot tell them when to release the, the, uh, the, 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 the maze on the market. They will hold you to ransom. They will say they don't have the maze. And when the price of maize goes up very much, which ultimately will entail the price of millimil going up, they will flood the, 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 the maize on the market. But the millimil will be unaffordable to the poor people. But I know, my brother HH doesn't learn, doesn't listen. So if you have decided it's 250, he will not make amends. Or you will not budge. Because that's the kind of person that he is. And Zambians to have such a man as president, a pretender, a person who always wants to, to, to deceive you. Hello Fish, what more would you want to know that President Daga Inde Ichilema cannot be trusted? He told you the minimum will be 50 kwacha. It has never been. He told you to kawesha malaiti, amalaiti alea pamulu. He told you I will reduce fuel price to 12 kwacha, fuel alea fe pamulu. Fiance, he told you 12 hours I will be, 10 hours I am elected, 14 hours the dollar will, 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 will uh, the kwacha will appreciate. It has never happened. This appreciation of kwacha which is happening now is very fictitious. Just Last week, two weeks ago, they released $45 million onto the market in order for the exchange rate to come down. That is very fictitious. And by the way, this rate of the quarter to the dollar, you must get worried, Zambians, because at the moment we are not even paying debt. But it jumped from 1718 to 21. What if we start paying debts? What when we start paying debt? What is going to happen to the exchange rate? Because it's not right. Can we just do the right thing as a government, which is going to make the price I mean, the rate of the quarter to the dollar too. And there's only one thing or two things. It's to produce more for export. If you are not producing more for export, if you are not setting up manufacturing industry where you are going to reduce the pressure on those who import things, even underwear for children, bamba yamwa na bamba, toothpick. Toothpick, e, toothpick, made in China. To buy this toothpick, you need to go to the bank and change kwacha into dollars. How do you expect your exchange rate to drop down? So, when you take $45 million, you throw it on the market, and you think you've brought the exchange rate down, you are just killing the economy. 
And by the way, in an economy where the exchange rate fluctuates like a pendulum, eh? moving from, you know, the, the economy cannot be sustained. But my brother is an economist. Today the exchange rate is 19, tomorrow is 16, tomorrow is 21, tomorrow is 18. How are the businesses going to plan? How are the businesses going to plan? Cost of fuel, today the fuel is 27, tomorrow is 26, tomorrow is 30. How is business going to plan? I urge you to revert back to the quarterly review of fuel prices. So that at least people can have a window of three months, four months. Yeah? People can have a window of three, four months to plan. In a country where the cost of fuel, cost of energy is not constant, there is no way that the economy can thrive and grow.